evening. I'd like to call the Tuesday, January 6th meeting of the Avalon City Council to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and please remain standing for the invocation, which will be Pastor Ron Aaron. Please face the flag. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we're, we're actually not here asking that you come and be part of our meeting tonight, no. But rather we're acknowledging the fact that you already are here among us. We're acknowledging your presence, Father. We're acknowledging your, your part in this evening. And we also acknowledge that exactly a week ago tonight, our community was forever changed. One week ago tonight, we lost two brothers from our community family, two men who, who loved, two men who served Avalon, and in return are loved and served by Avalon. And it's that love that appropriately places as the first order of community business enacted here tonight, the honoring of our brothers so tragically taken from us. Father, we remember Timothy Mitchell with a, with a moment of silence. Tim belonged on the sea, and so he belonged, yes, here in Avalon. He both thrived and he excelled in his positions as scuba instructor, dive boat captain, harbor patrolman, reserve fireman. Tim brought such positive energy to wherever and whatever he applied himself to. And No, I don't just mean the daytime job hours, but his filling the night air with his music as well. All of that positive energy will be indeed sorely missed. And Father, we, we remember Bruce Ryder with another moment of silence. And Bruce was another brother who was focused seaward. He actually lived in the harbor for much of his extended time here in Avalon. He too was a dive boat captain. He was a longtime worker for the mooring service. He even had a stint as the waste control specialist in our harbor. And we'll miss always seeing him and PV together. And we'll miss his smile, that smile that greeted all who greeted him. And as hard as it is, Father, that, that these two have been taken from us, it seems eerily appropriate that it was the sea that took them. And we thank you for their lives that were lived among us. We thank you for their love that touched each one of us. And we acknowledge that our Avalon community has become a better place through their having lived among us in our extended family. And so finally, Father, we, we pray for those here who oversee, those here who, who govern this community, the, City Council, the officers, the staffs. We ask that you would continue to bless them with the wisdom and the discernment that benefits all here in Avalon. And we pray for those here who are the ones who serve and protect this community, the fire, the sheriffs, the harbor. And we pray that you continue to bless them with the courage and the strength that we saw last week, the courage and the strength that allowed last week to be only, only as tragic as it was. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ron. <coughs> Probably should have a roll call. Council Member Sampson? Here. Council Member Hernandez? Here. Council Member Cassidy? Here. Uh, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Olson? Here. And for the record, uh, Mayor Marshall is absent this evening and excused. Thank you. Announcements of written communication. Uh, 
Yes, uh, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, probably a couple things, and these may be also touched on during written and oral communication. Uh, I know this has been um, widely publicized, but I just wanted to um, remind uh, everyone that the uh, memorial service for Tim Mitchell is at 10 a.m. Thursday at the Casino Dive Park with the uh, scattering of ashes following with boats departing around 12 noon. Um, there's also a reception at the M restaurant scheduled that same day from 2 to 5 p.m. And if I recall correctly, the service for Bruce Ryder is Saturday at 11 a.m. at the Marlin Club. Did I get that correct, Denise? Thank you. Um, let's see, a couple other announcements. Um, I think it's important, we, we've um, had a lot of uh, mental health uh, service specialists here on the island primarily focused on helping our first responders, our public safety community. Uh, but it also should be said that there are mental health professionals available for those who may uh, need that service who are not a public safety personnel or a first responder. And we would actively encourage anyone in the community uh, who needs it themselves or knows somebody to go to the uh, Catalina Island Medical Center. Uh, Dawn Sampson um, is, is leading the effort and she can direct those who need the help uh, either, either she can address it herself or someone on staff or she can get them to somebody that might need that. Um, so we, we would encourage that. The number up there is 310-510-0520. Um, and lastly, and, and again, this may be covered again in the written and oral section, but, um, uh, well, maybe I can, you know, I will, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, I'll handle this in my report section. So that's probably all the written communication I'll take right now. Thank you, Thank Mr. Harvey. Presentations? None. None this evening, right? <laughs> City manager report. Okay, uh, so me again. So, um, like, like everyone here, I guess. Yes. <coughs> Absolutely, Chief. I'm sorry, Mike Krug, Avalon Fire Department, Fire Chief. Uh, on behalf of myself, Arbor Master Bray, Captain Federal, Captain Black, uh, we just wanted to make sure and recognize one other group of people. Uh, during this storm, there was oh, too many people to individually identify that came literally out of the darkness bringing hot coffee and hot food, opened up businesses and um, their homes and even some cases to make sure as this operation went on for quite a lengthy time that we could get in out of the cold, we could get something to eat, uh, rehab in a sense, get warm and then go back to work. So I just wanted to take a moment and just recognize those folks. I wish I had a list of names or people that came out of the darkness that I don't even really, I know their face, I don't even know their name. I just want to take a moment and recognize them on behalf of all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. And um, I do have a list of some of those folks. I know that we are definitely going to forget some, so my humble apologies, but I, I feel the need to at least acknowledge those that I'm aware of immediately, and they're, I'm going to say I'm going to forget somebody because I just know that's going to happen. But to name a few, um, uh, from that night, um, CeCe Gallagher's Catalina Cookie Company, the Armstrong family, uh, Karen Federal, Catalina Island Yacht Club, uh, the Island Company, Steve's Steakhouse, Lloyd's of Avalon, Maggie's Blue Rose, and um, tons and tons of other concerned people. Um, since that time, uh, I want to thank Catalina Express, again, the Island Company, the M Restaurant, the Lobster Trap, Seaport Bistro, and I'm sure plenty of others that I've, again, neglected to include. But it's just been a real outpouring of support and assistance, and, and you all know that because you've been out there, too. And um, as your administrative head of the municipal government, I just want to extend my heartfelt thank you to all of you here, all the public safety personnel, full-time, uh, part-time, volunteer. Um, just, I, I cannot tell you how proud I am of all of you. Um, it was a lot to witness the other evening, and um, I know you all uh, gave it your all and I just really uh, want to tell you how much I appreciate that so so thank you it was a lot everybody 
Um, I guess uh, that'll be it for me for now. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Campbell. No, nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay. Nothing. Cindy? Richard? I'm good. Joe? Uh, it's just, I just want to reconfirm that, um, um, that I was just, uh, out there that night and just as an observer. And I just want to say to the people of Avalon that these men and women that protect us, um, you should be a very, feel very proud and very secure um, <clears throat> because they will go to, to any length to protect us and to make sure that our visitors <clears throat> and the community that we provide uh, and the inhabitants here are all safe and protected and they'll do anything. And I saw it firsthand. Um, that was very unpredictable, violent, um, ravishing storm. And um, I was amazed at the courage and um, uh, and just the magnitude uh, that you guys worked at and the professionalism and and i was blown away and um the people who are not here to thank is is the people that uh some of our mechanics and and, and the guys that, that keep your um your boats running and uh and kept them going that night and just the wisdom that you guys were using and um i just thank god that there was nobody else um that was badly um injured um, we lost two really close people to us they gave their lives for us I think we need to understand that and we need to see that and um, going into the future we I just want to let you know that, that we're all really proud of you guys and uh, we'll, we'll try to do um, the best we can to represent you in any way we can and um, I saw what you did and I can't tell you how proud I am thank you very much and also, I think last Wednesday, the, the cream rose to the top as normal in Avalon. That's one of the reasons we live here, is we have such a great support system. Thank you, gentlemen. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I, I would be remiss. I, forgive me. I, I knew I would do this. Um, but the, the public works staff was a key component in the response last week, and I failed to, to mention them. And Councilmember Sampson mentioned the, the harbor mechanics, and absolutely. But I, I wanted to mention public works as well. So, so thank you, public works, too. It's now time for oral communications. Members of the public may address the City Council at this time. No action will be taken on non-agenda items at this meeting. Speakers should limit their comments to three minutes. Feel free to come to the podium. I guess enough's been said. Thank you, guys, gals. Um, We'll pause. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you, JJ. It's the least we can do. Consent count, I guess we'll go to general business, Mr. Hardy. Yes, uh, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I'd like to call forward uh, Jordan Monroe, please. We are asking the council this evening to declare a local state of emergency. You may recall we enacted a similar resolution following Hurricane Marie this summer. Uh, this is similar. Uh, the mechanism in which you trigger um, state, uh, federal, county um, assistance for, for those um, items not covered by, uh, excuse me, for those items covered by insurance, wherein there is a delta between the coverage and the loss, the, the mechanism is uh, a resolution declaring a local state of emergency. I want to apologize to you, uh, not for lack of effort, and that's certainly not the case, um, but this has been a little bit of a work in progress, and so we have, um, the, the resolution should have arrived on your, your desk this evening, and then there's also a draft initial assessment. We've been trying to put this together 
uh, as you may imagine, in the days since um, the incident, it's been a work in progress. So uh, Jordan Monroe, as was the case with Hurricane Marie, has spearheaded our, our effort on this. I want to thank him. Um, he was working that evening uh, trying to do a lot of the unfun, unglamorous, un uh, sexy stuff, but it's very important. And so, Jordan, could you maybe explain what we're doing here and uh, walk us through this? Thank you. So the first step is uh, to for council to declare a state of local emergency if you deem it necessary, um, and that'll put us on the path where we submit it to the county office of emergency management, um, who would then review it and pass it on to the state office of emergency services um, for the governor to review and assess whether they determine a state of emergency for Avalon and Santa Catalina Island. Um, the resolution that you have um, covers um, the impact on us um, as well as the uh, efforts to remedy things uh, moving forward. Um, and we are working with our insurance to get assessments of what's covered by our policies so we can then pass on accurate assessments to the county who most likely would send over an assessor of their own as well to take um, in their perceptions um, of our impact and determine what's necessary. A lot of this is determined by thresholds, um, so they have standards that have to be met in order for different emergencies to be declared, but um, without this, we can't move forward in that progress anyway. So that's what we're asking for tonight. Thank you, Mr. Monroe. Anything further, Mr. Harvey? Not on this item, Mayor Pro Tem. Council comments? Additional comments from the public? I'm gonna be quick. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve. I second that motion. Further discussion? Call for the question. Four ayes and one absent, Mayor Marshall. So the resolution has been adopted. Very good. Uh, should we move to agenda item two? two? Okay. Um, so in light of the storm last week, certain things um, have accelerated in their priority ranking, if you will, for the city. Um, like you, I'm sure we all have a concern about the structural integrity of the mole, especially considering the uh, damage it sustained last week. Uh, we were um, anticipating uh, dusting off, if you will, an evaluation that was done in 2012, bringing out some engineers to take a look at that study and see if it was still consistent with what they thought back then. With the recent damage that has occurred, uh, we feel it would be prudent to bring out those engineers sooner than later. And so we are asking you this evening for your authority and permission to enter into an agreement with RBF, who did the study back in 2012, to come out, look at what's happened since that time, and tell us the state of our mole, what needs to be done, et cetera. And if you have additional questions about that, we've got Mr. Jayich, our Public Works Director, here to answer them. Thank you, Mr. Harvey. Questions? Who's RBF? RBF? Yes. Consulting firm, engineering firm we've used for years. Okay, but what, what, what does RBF stand for? What does RBF stand for? It's a good question. Uh, it's an old uh, name of a company that's been passed down for the last 25 years. They just changed names again to Michael Baker Corporation, subsidiary of RBF. Mike Baker? Michael Baker oh. is the owner. Okay, thank you. Corporation. That's RBF all. was responsible for supervising the construction of the sewer. Uh, thank the, you. The uh, repair that we did on the sewer. Yeah, the uh, sewer repairs in, in 2010 and 11 were administered by RBF. Okay. Thanks. If you had any questions on the uh, current condition of the mole, that's what this staff report is about. Um, um, our, our reasoning for going with RBF is, uh, is elementary. They have all the plans. They've done the study already. I think we'd save a considerable amount of money going with them. As a matter of fact, we have them coming out Tuesday free of charge and some other unrelated issues, and they're going to take a look at it. So it should cut their price a little bit. Anyway, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Any questions for Dennis? Yeah. Okay, thank cool. you. Thank you, sir. Council comments? 
No, no, thank you. Public comments? Motion? I'll make a motion to approve. I have a motion and a second. I'll second it. Any further discussion? Call for the question. Four eyes and one absent, uh, Mayor Marshall. So that concludes the general agenda. We will have a closed session. Um, would you like to speak to the closed session, sir? Yeah, this can uh, a significant exposure to litigation. Um, the number of cases unknown. This will be a discussion with uh, the council and its attorneys um, pertaining to um, the incident over the last week and uh, discussion of legal ramifications. You're invited to stay if you want to. We will be back. Um, if you don't stay, that's okay too. We will be adjourning the meeting this evening in um, Tim and Bruce's memory when we get done ready to adjourn. <laughs>